First of all, create the truss structure. We can uh, we can also use the geometry run structure wizard for creating the uh, trusses. You can see that uh, okay. model type truss model. Okay. Yeah. And uh, these type of trusses we have like flat truss, valen truss, hovres, lattice trusses, hove roof, and north light. Yeah. Okay. Now. <clears throat> we can use the hove roofs this is the parameters window how many um, uh, long length height and width and number of uh, along uh, ways along height or length okay okay apply yes now this is completed this is this is truss model we can uh, use the uh, bridge uh, railway bridges and uh, transmission tower uh, arms okay okay so first of all give the support which support uh, we will provide them fixed fixed and on your spin as well. Okay. Now provide the supported. Select the all bottom nodes. Click on create. Now this time I am assigned the fixed support. You can see that. Hello? Yeah, yeah I can see. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> which load applied on this structure uh, point load ok point load and uh, concentrated load also yeah uniform distress. every nodal load we can apply on this structure ok go to uh, first of all Assign the properties. It means cross section. Which type cross section you use in uh, this uh, uh, structure? And this uh, I beam. I beam. Okay. Now I am selecting the section database and uh, go to country name like Indian and I am selecting the angle section okay. okay now I am selecting the angle section and uh, cross section size suppose that this time I am select for this property click on huh, yeah, first of all this property which material you have like a steel and aluminium stainless steel okay. which one I am select steel steel, steel. Yeah. okay click on add and close now assign the properties yes Okay. okay. Now you can uh, see the 3D view. This is the 3D part of uh, trusses. Okay. This is the small cross sections, small section of steel. Now, give the load. First, dead. Second, live. In the dead load, we can define only self-weight. 
and uh, in live load nodal load which axis provide the force x y z y axis okay good and uh, define the how many loads you will apply on uh, this structure suppose that i am giving the value of 10 kN click on add you can also assign the member load and uh, concentrated force okay it will uh, concern a like uh, like a uh, nodal load and point load okay now assign the loaded first one is self weight assigned to view second one fy where i am assigning this top node top node this one okay so first of all selects the nodes i am define the all this type of node okay yeah. assign now you can see yeah. and uh, you also give the member load only this type of beams so again select the live load case and give the member load and select the all beams okay Now, I'm going to analyze. This is the results. <coughs> now, design the trusses. Same process for designing the trusses. Go to design and uh, yeah. steel select code like my code is IS 800 and I am selecting the all members and uh, define the commands check code assign fix group assign member takeoff assign only group is left okay okay you can also try with me are you trying this now yeah okay now go to define parameters we will define the only two or three parameters like uh, first of all FYLD this is the yield strength of steel this is very low and I am defining the this one okay. profile which profile you are selected now suppose that IS 800 assign and track assign and close 
now check the parameters which one is uh, not assigned now all uh, co uh, parameters is assigned same things go to analysis and uh, assign the all parameters and click on analyze save now analysis is being processed now go to results go to de steel design you can see that all members like yeah. fail this yeah. is pass pass fail pass and fail mostly members fails okay and this is the okay. steel structures and steel data how many okay. type of steel you use and how many uh, weight or length you use in uh, steel structures okay this is the takeoff of steel right now go to selected menu and uh, click on by specification and select the all we field beam I am checking yeah. the which member of which beam failed now now yeah. you can see all members right now fails so you can change the properties go to general property which property you are defining like this I am change same things again failed members and define this property ok now again go to analyze save Now my problem is still same. Now yeah. go to section database again and before that I am delete the cross sections. and select the property Now again check the results by analysis command. Now my sections is successfully. Okay.